Hi, in this particular video, we are going to do a very crucial task for which we are learning the Angular 2. As in the introduction, I told that Angular 2 is basically used for creating the single paged applications. So here, we are going to create a single paged application using Angular 2. And once we are doing that, we will see how to do the routing in which we will check like how different components are rendered in the same page. So for the implementation, first thing that we will have to do for sure that is creating multiple components. And once you, are, you have created multiple components, you will have to plan the routing. So let's see a practical implementation of creating a very basic single page application in Angular. So for implementing the routing here, what I have done, I have created a very fresh application so that you will see only that particular code which is required to perform this routing and to create a simple sim single paged application. So for that, let's come into this app folder and here inside you can see like as usual, we have this app module.ts and inside that we have the app component ts, all right, which is the main bootstrapped component. Apart from that, I have created a couple of more components that is employee component. Inside this, we have the employee TS and HTML. Similarly, home for the another module, the another component of our application and a miscellaneous. In this miscellaneous, I have created one more component called PNF that is page not found. So in case the user will make the request of something which is not available, we will show them this particular page not found component. So let's quickly come to the notepad plus plus and see what is all there in the code. So we'll discuss about this app module later, but let's first check the app component where I have this my app as usual. I have made no changes inside. All right. And there is one component dot HTML. Just I have added this template URL for this component. And here what I have done I have created the two separate links for the home and employee. As I have already told you that I have created a couple of components out here. That is the home and employee. So here is the first hyperlink which will take you to the home. And there is a second hyperlink which will take you to the employee. So here I have put some router link kind of thing which I will explain later and similarly I'll explain later about this router outlet as well. Now let's come to the home component where you can see I have created a simple module that is the home component with no member or function here right now. Just I have in introduced one router component right, right here which will explain later. And here is the simple HTML for the home component. And very similarly, I have created one more employee component where I have not put anything so far. And there is the HTML of this employee component, which is as simple as this, like this, just a single heading. You can notice like here, I have removed the selector decorator, all right, either in employee component or in home component nowhere I have placed this selector if you want you can simply put that but since here I am not fixing the output like in which particular time I want to get these I have not th anything in fix all right I will just use one of this component at a time depending on which particular link either on home or employee you are clicking all right so I have just created one selector for this my app which is by default for this app component all right now very similarly i have created page not found component with the same things like there's just a template url and right there i have created one separate html i have just created these all html separately by using the template url so that in case you want to add more or larger content you can easily put them right out there all right now, I have made no changes in this index.html. It will remain as same. So the story will begin by the time I will put this my app. So this my app, that means this app module will actually behave differently. So how it will behave? Let's see that. So basically in this app component, what I will do is I will show you these two links. 
and when I will click I want to see either of the component and for displaying the output for getting the output I have just created this router outlet now in order to do the main configuration regarding the routing we will have to come to app module.ts and here you can see so many changes are already being done so the first thing which we will have to do is to include the router module and the routes which is nothing but the array of all the routed components so here I have included the router module and routes from angular router that's the first thing that you will have to include now after that you will have to put all the components like home employee uh, page not found component and whatever components you have created in your applications once you have imported all that thing you have to come to this particular point where you will have to define a constant here we have given it a name called app routes and inside it I will tell like what component should be passed when the particular request is made so here inside you can see it's nothing but an array as I said routes it's an array alright and here we have to set the properties like path when there is any request which is make which is being made for home we will send the component home component alright so home component which is already included here we will have to set that and in home comp when I say home component we know which particular component we are talking about which particular template has to send similarly for employee we have employee component if you want to pass some ID you can pass that particular ID right here and that will be sent to the employee component means if you want to search some specific employee if nothing is specified while making the request at that particular time we will have to set the home alright means this is the home page which we will send because when we don't specify any particular page which we want to see then in that particular time we see the index page or the home page so here we actually tell that this particular home is actually the home page so we will redirect this blank request to this home alright and while making this match we will have to follow the full path full path means only this will not be redirected but the server name the port number everything should be there so it will be the path match is full now if there is some unknown request made means for which we haven't created any handler for that we will come to this particular thing like double asterisk that's the means any random request and for that we will redirect it to page not found component all right all right so here as you can see all the design component home employee and page not found has been registered with the inside in this de declaration now after that you will have to be sure that when you are specifying this array the generalized content should be at the last for example if we will put this asterisk at the top so for all the requests this asterisk will, uh, will redirect you to this page not found component but we obviously don't want that so for the specific request we will put them in the top and then for the generalized we will put them at the end so let's save this and let's see how it is looking like in the browser so here you can see there's a home component when I'm clicking on employee here the path is changed it is employee component home component and here as you can see so this particular thing we have designed it well we have designed that in the app component so here you can see now we talk about this router link as well so in router link basically this is provided by the router module itself like router module which we have already included here so this actually provides you the router link so it will be easier for you means for this particular page to tell like this home is nothing but a router and where we have specified this this is right here so make sure you are passing the value in the same case as you have passed here like if here you said home so here I pass the home in the same case similarly for the employee and here it is the employee alright now so in this way you can easily create a single page application using angular 